g r a t i t u d i o today I'm going to share with you. Uh, 今天我要跟你分享啊，怎样我在呃开始学习这个中文了。Okay, first thing you have to type HSK one. Okay, what is really HSK one? Okay, HSK one is actually a Han Yu Han Yu Sui Ping Kao Shi, meaning it's a、uh, it's like examination for a standard um uh Chinese. No Chinese standard examination, so you will start from HSK one to six. You know, four, four, four. Very beginner, you always have to uh start with HSK one. Okay, but one thing I want to mention here、uh, is a very important thing. It's called uh 繁体中文 and 简体中文 What is 繁体中文繁体 is actually traditional Chinese and 简体 is a simplified Chinese. Actually, there's a、uh, some different. Okay, another um. Google Translate, another software that use a lot of, 很多这个，呃，我我很很常用这个软件，就是这个 Google Translate 来翻译 ，OK， for translation. OK, if you see here, right, let's call Chinese simplified traditional. Let's say, let's say translate from English. Uh, how are you? Normally, it's very simple, like 你好吗 ？OK. So when you translate into, uh. Simplify, uh, this traditional, right? You see the, the ma here is actually a bit different. Okay, there are some uh similar to the simplify one, but there are some is uh different. For example, uh, you type uh, I'm going to overseas soon. Ah, 我很快就要出国了。我很快就要出国了。Ah, so. The rest, the all these characters similar to simplify except for the guo. Okay, so we'll start with learning the simplified Chinese words, which is normally used in China, Malaysia, Singapore. You know, for traditional, normally is used in uh like country like uh Hong Kong, Taiwan, Macau. Okay, so uh if you really want to use your Chinese mainly in uh worldwide as a general Mandarin uh for China or Malaysia or Singapore, then you. You will start with simplified Chinese, and it's definitely easier to learn. Okay, we'll start with HSK one. Okay, when you click on this, right, normally you will see something like this. So normally you can just read through what it means by HSK one, the examination, what kind of、uh, syllabus it is, you know. But you try to click on the second link. You know? So this is the part where you will start to familiarize that HSK one. It has one hundred fifty words to start with. Okay, and you, as you move on to HSK two, three, four, five, and six, right? You will get、uh, more and more. It's actually double to three hundred, six hundred, and so on until you reach the、uh, the highest level. So I would say HSK one, two is very beginner. Three, four is consider uh intermediate, and this is advanced. But in general term, this is for a a a a foreign learner or no, someone who don't have uh any. Uh, knowledge at all in 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 Mandarin, so it will categorize as beginner, intermediate, and advanced. But if you look at a real Chinese uh standard, right? So this actually all this one, two, three, four, five is actually is a beginner. Perhaps one and four is a beginner level. I would say five and six is considered intermediate. It's like a beginner, intermediate, and advanced intermediate. So for me, even if you reach at six, which is quite tough to me, is Consider intermediate. There's still more to learn after that, but as a beginner, eh, I think it's good enough to reach HSK for for uh whether you're a beginner, intermediate to able to communicate well on a daily conversation with uh any Chinese speaker, you know, throughout the world. Okay, first I think uh what you need to know is you need to understand there's three part. One is the of course the English translation. One is the Chinese character we call Han Zhe. Or Chinese character, and this is called a pinyin. Pinyin is like a Roman、uh, writing, for you know to show the pronunciation of、uh, Chinese. Okay, for most people who do not know how to pronounce this, right, you have to go to the Google Translate. For example, you press this、uh, sound button, right. 你好吗？我很快就要出国了。This is English. How are you? I am going to overseas soon. Okay, so when you click on this, right, you actually can able to listen、uh, each character and uh, uh, what is the pronunciation. Okay, this is the pinyin. Ni hao ma. 
So when I read it, right, so of course, now I'm able to recognize some of the character, but if let's say I cannot recognize, right, I can actually read direct from the Hanyi Pinyin. So you must know this is not like English, like Ni Hao Ma. So there's four tone. So as a beginner, you need to know there's four tone. Okay, so this one, uh, you need to familiarize from uh, first tone, second tone, third tone, and fourth tone. So like this one is considered a second tone, second tone. This is like a first tone, second tone, second tone. Uh, this is the fourth tone, fourth tone, fourth tone, and this is the second tone, and this is the first tone. So it's like ni, ni. It's not ni, it's ni. And then how, how. It's not how or how, how, how. So once you know the pronunciation, right, then you're able to read it ni, how, ma. Wo, hen, kuai. You know, if you, if you, if you are English uh, uh, speaker, right, normally you say wo, hen, kuai. So actually it's wo hen kuai yao chu bo le. So you will slowly familiarize with the pronunciation. Okay, so this is the pinyin, like ling yi e san se wu liu qi ba jiu shi. Okay, so you need to pronounce it and know how this is written. And of course the character will come later. As you progress, you will slowly able to recognize the character. Okay, so there are 150 characters you need to familiarize. This is the vocabulary. Then as you study it, then you will jump to, you can just go and Google and type HSK 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 on this. Okay, so this is the first thing to familiarize with the vocab. So another way to learn Mandarin, right, is you go to YouTube. Actually, YouTube, there are a lot of resources you can actually learn Chinese. For example, when you type HSK 1, okay, HSK1, right, there are actually a lot of HSK1 uh, YouTube. In fact, all this is uh, is good, you know, and you can see there are HSK2 and 3. As you, as you study, you can move on slowly to 2, 3, and 4, okay, until you master each level, then you jump to next. Okay, for example, uh, I would recommend, like, uh, everyday Chinese, Yimin Chinese is good, and of course, there are, uh, there are, uh, HSK Academy, Harbin. Actually, all this I I, I quite fan. There is a, uh, there are there are few more. You know, they are they are very very good. Uh, like this one, Mandarin Corner. So these are the YouTube channel you should subscribe and go through it on on uh, as much as possible. For example, okay. Where is my cat? What? Your work can feel much smoother with Monday.com WorkOS. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, this is a dog, right? So you have to listen to the pronunciation based on the pinyin. Okay, it's like 小狗在睡觉呢。狗在睡觉呢。Uh, so as you, as you, Look at the character, you want to recognize the character, but you have to really know the pinyin and the pronunciation. Puppy is sleeping. Xiao. Then you jump to the next. Nar有很多人. Okay, this one eh, is actually na, and then this er, no, it's called normally it's na, but it, when you add this thing, right, it's called r, no, nar, nar, na, nar, nar有很多人. Uh, so once you master, uh, YouTube and the HSK 123456 earlier, right? The vocab, and then you slowly you can go use, utilize the Google Translate. For example, like this, I type, How are you? I'm going to overseas soon. Then you know the translation here, and and you know how it's pronounced, you know. So that's how I, I learned, you know. But of course, I won't go into the uh, further step, like how to write Chinese, you know. Of course, you want to learn how to write Chinese, you can just type how to write. Uh, or recognize a uh, uh, Chinese character. This this another part way is is a uh, is a uh, is, is harder, you know, is uh, from the listening and comprehension part. So this is more like uh, know how to recognize and know how to write. Characters are the to lie or to tell a lie. Of course, this is the harder part. Okay, you can just go to the. Uh, basic like this one, how to learn Chinese. If you're just starting out learning Chinese characters, initially, this character for to mean a forest. Hello. 
three trees here are combined in the character for. So we'll take time to slowly understand how the character works, uh, what's the meaning that's a uh, radical and and how you're able to recognize uh, better and how uh, the sequence, there's a sequence for each stroke, there's a sequence, you know, from left to right, from top to bottom. So this, of course, another part, if you want to really master uh, re uh, reading and writing itself. So for me, I more concerned on reading part, you know, meaning I need to study the PD and the, the reading, the Chinese character, instead of writing. Writing, I will put it later. Once I really uh, master my fundamental, then I will jump to that. So I think this uh, really helps a lot. And they are obviously certain app that I want to share that are, that are helpful in the, if you're using Android or iOS, they are called Duolingo and, and they are uh, Linux, Linux app, you know. So there are many uh, good app in the Android. You can actually download and, and learn from it, all the basic ones. And obviously, if you want to start fast, right, you can just say uh, basic, uh, conversation in in Mandarin, you know, something like that. So you can actually get a grasp of um, what is the basic uh, conversation that you can use. How is pronounced? You know, like hello, ni hao, and then we have, we, as we go further, like. Ni jiao shen, ni jiao ming zhe. Ah, ni jiao shen ming zhe. What's your name? Ni jiao shen ming zhe. Zhang Li. As you go further, like, uh, what do you want to eat? 你想吃什么呢? So, 想 is like uh, one. Actually, it's called, uh, there's two meaning. there's thing. 我想, uh, it's like I think. And another one is I want, you know. 你 is you, and then 你想吃 is eat, and then 什么 is uh, what. 呢 is like an uh, extra particle to, to like a uh, like questioning, question like that. 你想吃什么呢? Normally, there's ma la, like, uh, ni uh, ni ma. Uh, do you want to go out? Are you going out? You know, ni chu chi ma. So there's a lot of this, uh, ba, ne, ma, le, uh, ya, all these particles. So you will learn slowly as, as you progress, you will un slowly understand more. Okay, thank you guys for watching my video, and that's all about it. So if you want to know more how to start learning Mandarin from from zero or from very basic, you can actually uh, send me a message down here, subscribe my channel, and I will share with you more. Okay, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.